Hey, good people, Batavia here. Quick update on what's going on and a few of the raised beds in the backyard garden. See you in a few. Okie doke, so a couple of things are going on here. Um, as a quick update, I swapped the actual frames for these raised beds. So this raised bed here was actually placed in this space for the last few years and the reverse this bed which is really the wood is the oldest that's in the backyard it had been here and growing food for a good long while but i moved this thinking ahead to winter um or getting close to winter and some of the things i want to try to do and it would be a lot easier if i was able just to go straight across and these beds be very much the same size we're probably an inch or so or two off here but these line up perfectly. So it allows me to do two things. Instead of breaking up my netting, if I want, I could carry netting or fabric all the way across, which I did. Um, and then over here is the same thing. After I got myself situated and planted, it occurred to me to add one more hoop here. Now, some may remember just last fall, I built out or updated this kind of wire cage that I had here right now it's placed over here I'm not crazy about it I'll figure out if that's going to be its home but more importantly I'm now able to again carry my fabric or right now netting uh, all the way across now what I realize is I very intentionally left the um, PVC pipes whole. These were 10 footers, half an inch, 10 footers. And I left them whole, didn't cut them like I normally would. And like I have for maybe this bit, you can see it's a little bit shorter. I left them whole because last year I had such a glorious collard green year and the collards grew so tall that they basically outgrew the fabric and the height that I had set this up at. But all of that said, I'm doing a quick update today where I'm going to bring down, still leaving them at 10 feet, but bring down the hoops all the way to the bottom of the bed. Because right now, clearly, I don't need that much um, height. And so I think it'll give me a little bit more comfort when it comes to this netting, which is new to me. And uh, yeah, so that's it. Um, one more thing that I didn't really plan on doing this year, but here we are. But so far, the backyard raised beds are planted out on the concrete patio. The cage baby is a wreck. I was talking to a friend and how basically last year I had this all situated like two months ago, like in mid-March, which was uber early for me, but this year is not the case. I, um, I had some battles with some raccoons within the backyard. And so I had to get all of my containers, or at least that was my solution, move everything into this cage until I can figure out what I want to do. And that is also why I still may have this here. Again, it's bulky. It's not kind of how I want this deck to look. Um, but I don't know if I'm rid of the raccoon problem um, forever or even temporarily. Uh, so... Yeah, that's what I got. Hey, good people, Batavia here. So I am coming out to do my garden chores for the day. But before I came out, I looked out and saw this and I thought all oh, the cats got me but then when I looked at the cameras I realized that was a lie um, it looks like I had multiple raccoons as far as I could tell that were I don't know playing fighting but definitely digging up most everything this is probably the most damage I've seen and all in all I mean this is pretty minor for the most damage I've seen in my garden in like 15 years, right? So I'm gonna blame it in part on kind of the mess I've left out here. Um, but I'm gonna first 
take care of my garden chores, which will take me through the morning. And then I'm gonna come back around and figure out a better plan for this bed and what to do with those containers. So that's what I got.